In this lesson, we're going to be multiplying a single term over a pair of brackets. This is also called multiplying out or expanding. Before we have a look at the examples involving algebra, I just want you to consider these examples involving numbers. So I've got here three brackets, five plus four. Now, what we've got here is a hidden multiplication sign. Remember in algebra, we can leave out the multiplication sign. So this is actually three times five plus four. I can put that in there just to make life easier for now. And how you would normally do this question is using big mass. You'd spot that the brackets are the thing that you would do first, B for brackets. So what this would be is three times five plus four, which is nine. We're going to add them together before multiplying by three. And three times nine is 27. So we'd get an answer of 27. I'm going to show you a different way of getting the same answer. If I've got three times five plus four, what I can do is multiply what's outside the bracket by everything inside the bracket. So if I do this three times five, that would give me 15. And then I need to multiply three by positive four, and that's gonna give me an extra 12 to add on. So three times four, is 12. So I've got three lots of five and three lots of four, 15 and 12, and that makes 27. And I get the same answer. Now, this is going to be a useful method to use when it comes to algebra, because if we've got a letter inside our bracket, sometimes we can't simplify what we've got inside the bracket. So in this question, I could simplify five plus four into nine, but in the examples you're about to see, we won't be able to do that. Here are the first two examples. In the first one, I want to multiply two by x plus one. Now, if we tried to use big mass, we would have to add up x and one, but we can't simplify this expression anymore because we don't know what x is. So all I can do is use the second method that I showed you before. That's gonna be two times x, and we know that two times x is the same as two x, and then we're gonna add on two times positive one, which is, Two. So two lots of x plus one equals two x plus two. If we apply the same method to the second example, we've got four lots of y plus four lots of three. So that's going to be four times y or four y plus four times our three, which is twelve. In this example, I've got three lots of u plus two. So that's going to give me three lots of u which is 3u, plus three lots of two, and that's six. So three brackets u plus two is three u plus six. In this example, I'm going to do the same thing. Five times z is five z. I'm going to add on five lots of seven, which is 35. In this example, I've got eight lots of m plus four. So that's gonna give me 8m plus 8 lots of 4, which is 32. In the next example, I've got 2 lots of 1, which is 2, and then I'm going to add on 2 lots of t. 2 lots of t is 2t. So 2 lots of 1 plus t is the same as 2 plus 2t. In this example, I've got 2 lots of 10 plus n, so that's 2 times 10, which is 20, that's this bit there, plus two lots of n, which is two n. In this next example, I've got r lots of w, and remember, r times w is simply r w, we can leave out the multiplication sign in algebra, and then r times four is going to give me four r. Remember, when we're multiplying a letter by a number, you want to put the number in front. So it's 4r rather than r4. In this last example, I've got x lots of x plus 5. We're going to use the same method again. x times x gives me x squared. Remember, x times itself is the same as x squared, or x to the power of 2. And then I need to do x times 5, which is going to be 5x. So I've got x squared plus 5x. 